Hello there. Hi. Uh, just another video here for you. Um, this time I wanted to talk to you briefly about insomnia, problems with sleeping. Now, as you may know, um, problems with sleeping is about something which affects hundreds of thousands of people. So um, it's something that is there. So many, many people suffer from that. Now, it might be you, it might be a friend of your friend of the family that has this issue. Um, so let me just expand expand upon that a bit more. Sleeping problems can come up in various ways. It can either be someone has a problem going to sleep because they've got thought ruminating, bubbling through their mind and they just can't switch off. So you know, rather than just like head hits the pillow, boom, they're gone. It's going round and round and round, thoughts all the time. Uh, that can sometimes be addressed by some simple hygiene of just, you know, mental hygiene of just having a notepad and jotting thoughts down. And that's surprisingly effective for many people, just jotting your notes, cleansing your mind, go to sleep. But sometimes you need a bit more work. Now, sometimes the problems can relate to not being able to go to sleep. Other times, insomnia, slightly different. This is where someone does go to sleep, but it's a very fitful sleep. And they wake up in the middle of the night and they just can't get back to sleep again. Other times people have a problem where they'll go to sleep and they keep having repeating dreams and they keep them awake. Sometimes those dreams are nightmares, sometimes they're repeating nightmares. Sometimes, however, people, they go to sleep and then they wake up with night tremors. They're hot and sweaty and they just feel really panicky. Now, for those people that do suffer from insomnia, it's a really uncomfortable thing. Most people find they can sleep through okay, but for many people they can't. And if you or someone you know is suffering from um, night tremors or insomnia or fitful sleep, or perhaps they have a fear of going to sleep, perhaps because they've had panic attacks in their sleep, things like that, that can be addressed. In effect, when they're going to sleep, the busy part of the brain, the conscious part of the brain, is being put to one side. I analogise it to a bit like you're giving the busy part of the brain a newspaper and saying go off and read it. So it's not there. It's gone off to read the FT or it's reading a Mills and Boone book. It's gone off to do something else. So your unconscious mind, the deeper part of the mind, the part of your mind that's got all your feelings, memories, experiences tucked away in it, that's the one that's much more powerful when you're in hypnosis, but certainly when you're asleep. Also, when you're asleep, your mind will be processing thoughts, memories and patterns. So for you... If you've got anything, any issues about sleep, or say a husband, partner, loved one's got any, uh, problems with sleeping, whether it's been going on for years and years, as some of my clients have found it, or it's something that started out recently, it's something that can be addressed. Now, I've worked with many people who've had what they felt was impossible, intractable sleeping problems, things that have been going on for decades and decades, and they've all found that change is possible change is possible a hell of a lot quicker than i expected many people will come to speak to me or another hypnotherapist or a coach thinking you probably can't help me but i'll give it a go and that's okay i always say you don't need to know how it's going to work you just need to want it to work and then let's do some great work together so for you if you or someone you know does have issues with sleep has in problems with insomnia possibly you're trying to use medication and you're just not being even able to go to sleep even with tablets Let's talk. You don't need to put up with that anymore. Change is possible. And I'd love to be able to have an opportunity to help you. So you give us a call and we can speak to, speak more about it. Thank you.